Although there is one thing I, I would I I'd want to talk about uh, at the core of the whole thing because this is one of the reasons why I think I had a lot of criticisms when I first went into it, um, and why I have sort of less criticisms for it now, um, and why many 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 people had very strict criticisms of it when it first went open when it first went into the, its version 1.0 uh, last week. Um, and that's because this game isn't the game that was in early access. And I don't mean that as it's a completely different game. I mean that the style of game is not the game of what was in early access. Basically, what the, what the style of game was when it was in early access was sort of... To, to use a phrase, a Minecraftian, a Minecraftian style of game. It was you are placed in an infinitely expanding world, in entirely created like Lego. So the world is exactly the same as is, and the plays the control of the persons exactly the same as is. It's basically the position that I am in now is where you would start in the original version that was in early access. It's basically you have everything unlocked. You can build infinitely in an infinite world. The sort of the Minecraftian thing. But the style of game this is now is that you have to work towards it. Hence the reason why I have 27 hours <laughs> in this game. And I have... This is pretty much at the exact point I unlocked everything. Um, when I got to the 100 gold bricks. Because the, when it gets to 100, you unlock everything... Every sequentially in every goal in every set amount of bricks. I think first it's five, then it's ten, then it's fifteen. So it's unlock at five, unlock at ten, unlock at tw unlock at fifteen, twenty five, fifty, seventy, and a hundred. Because you unlock the four special weapons, or no, the the five special equipments which is a camera where you can take pictures and screenshots and getting on their server. The only way I've been able to get to them is on the main menu for some reason. I can't. You just can't get to them in-game. You can only get them on the main menu. Um, a lantern, which is for cavings. Uh, a grappling... The, the grappling hook, which is fucking amazing. Um, and a jetpack. <laughs> so you can get to places like that, which is just a giant... which is just a floating castle. It's the entrance to a dungeon, but because it's in the sky it doesn't lead anywhere, it's just a thing <laughs> I tried I tried saving it as a blueprint, but it's too big <laughs> it's too big it's not fair um, yeah, so the, the fact that the style of game changed from, the way that I have, the way that I talk about it is that it changed from being a Minecraftian style game, to a Starboundian game the Minecrafting game is building infinitely in an infinite world. In a Starbounding game is you can build creatively, but but there is the adventuring around it. It's you roam around through the universes, through proc-genged universes. So essentially there is an infinite number of worlds. Because they have this big, like I think it's something like 10, 8 or 10 or 12 string numbers of random generations plus the A, B, C, D, 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 generation of sort of the universes, that sort of the built... So there, there is essentially an infinite number of worlds. So... I think I glitched that out. Um, so essentially there is an infinite number of worlds and an infinite number of places. So the world is still essentially infinite, but the lands, like here, are finite. It's like if you go this way you'll run into the end of the world. I'll be this way. Yeah, no, here. If you run this way, there is the literal just end of the world. The world ends here. But the worlds are huge. <laughs> once you get to the super big ones, once you get to the large worlds that I'm in now, see the actual end of the world. Um, but, um... The worlds are pretty big. Ah. I already got you. Oh, stop lagging out. I know you're recording, and I know you're, a, you're the way you're coded. You don't like recording, but tough shit. I'm doing this. Um, yeah, 
and so the style of game has changed and I think many people will be very annoyed at that because essentially the creative aspect to it the digital Lego that I was talking about before in the first part of the video uh, in, in the first part is essentially you can get to that but you have to work towards it it's it's I, I would guess probably the quickest amount of time you can get there if you want to get to the 100 gold bricks you can probably get there I, prob I would say probably in quickest about 20 hours but that's 20 hours of work to essentially get creative mode and even then it's not a permanent creative mode because you have to those troublemakers that you find that's the only way of unlocking types of bricks and you can't use those types of bricks like the slants or the round bricks or the cylinder bricks or things like that until you unlock them by having a troublemaker randomly appear and you getting them and getting the brick so the style of game has changed after 20 something hours because I went into this expecting the build infinitely in an infinite world because that was all the stuff that was there in early access that was what was there in early access and that was what I expected and so what I expected to get wasn't what was there and that's probably the reason why I was very angry and very irritated because I was going I want this, I want that da, 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 because that was what was there before <laughs> That was what that, that was what was there before, and that was what was there when I checked before I started. But the style of the game has changed, and the game is still fine. And this is part of the, this is the main crux of the second bit: is for all of my anger, for all of my irritants that I had in that first part. The second part is me going, "I love this game. I truly do. It's fucking amazing. It has its issues with the fact that it's." most definitely a it's it's a game that has been co-developed for all platforms so the PC version the and the console version for the Xbox and the PS4 are going to be exactly the same to the point where the controls for the PC have the issues of there not being two joysticks not being on a controller um, for the PC even though it can be easily remedied by like putting in mouse look or something uh, for it it's just having that in as a fourth option for the camera or uh, same as having the movement for the building controls in the console version being very slow, very sluggish because you have to move around in 3D space with two joysticks and buttons so while it is it's it is it, it it is it is a game that has been co-developed for all platforms at the same time and the version that is on all all platforms is exactly the same so there is to to use the phrase perfect parity among the among the systems with this game the problem is perfect parity means that there are compromises for some versions against the others and the other way around which is uh, slightly irritating I hope they patch that stuff because it would make it slightly easier because the control schemes for a PC port and for a console port are different and so I would hope that they would fix that because that has always been my main irritants is that I really really hope that because that's pretty much the only bad thing about this game is just the only bad thing about this game is the fact that Still, that still just astounds me the fact that I'm just flying around in the Lego world and that I can just see all the people oh my god um, yeah that ends up being the only issue 